Oh, hey there. Didn't see you. Chase with our tools, and today we are doing the practical application of zeroing all of our different optics and aiming systems on the universal zeroing target. So we're going to go ahead, get this bad boy put up, a little uh, adhesive spray there, and there we go. A couple of things to keep in mind when you are zeroing with the universal zeroing target. It does have the laser zeroing square, the photoluminescent or night vision zeroing square, and the thermal zeroing square. And today we're going to be zeroing the Trijicon IR Hunter as well as the Holosun laser here. A couple of things you can do with a laser, you can have a convergent or a parallel zero. Basically that means that the bore of the barrel and the laser can either meet at some point in the future, in the distance, or you can have it be parallel, meaning the laser will always be exactly parallel to your bore and you just need to keep that offset in mind when taking shots. I personally like to run a parallel zero because it allows me to zero at any range and then also take a shot at any distance, assuming I can do the calculations in my head for that offset. So we're going to start off with confirming the thermal zero uh, because we did already zero this thermal on this gun for our thermo, thermal zero in target video, which you should absolutely check out. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right. So we are going to go ahead and place the thermal aiming point on the target. Uh, like I said before, in our thermal zeroing target video, we did already zero this optic to the rifle. So we're just going to confirm zero here with the thermal aiming point and then we'll move on to the laser. Let's shoot some stuff. Let's check those hits. All right, so got our uh, zero confirmed. I messed up my holds on these first couple of shots. Forgot I had zeroed at 25 and not 50. So got that fixed up. Got a nice little group there. And uh, so now we're gonna move on to the laser. All right, so we've got our laser aiming point on the target. And you'll notice that if we hit the laser, it's very reflective. So you see it on the black and it really lights up when we hit that reflective point. The nice thing about this laser is the visible laser and the IR laser are slaved together. So I can zero in the daytime without my night vision and then I know that that zero is going to be the same when we're working under nods. All right, let's get to it. The nice thing about having the thermal zero is that I can actually at 25 yards, which is a pretty decent zero distance for lasers, um, for you know realistic engagement distances at night or in a CQB environment. Uh, I can actually just aim at the center point and then visually confirm where the laser is. Mine's a little high and left, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some initial adjustments to, in order to save ammo. All right, let's see where it is. All right, so I'm actually able to go ahead and uh, stay heads up on this right now because I'm just confirming that I'm keeping the laser on the actual aiming point. All right, let's check those hits. All right, so it looks like we got it dialed in. So like I said, I run a convergent or a non-convergent or a parallel zero. So basically that means that the laser is parallel and slightly to the right of the bore. So what you'll see here is I will aim at the laser reflective aiming point, which will give you a nice bright bloom on camera, and we'll see that the group is actually a little to the left and low. And if that's the case, then we can do very simple measurement, literally taking a ruler. We have a ruler on the target or whatever else you want to use. And you can actually measure the distance between the bore and the laser, however you want to do it. Again, most shots under night vision are not super far, but again, I like running the parallel zero because it does allow me to take longer shots if I'm going to calculate that hold. So let's confirm that this is on. All right, let's check it. Okay, so let's check out the target. So 
as you guys saw there, I did run out of ammo and didn't get that third round, but I'm pretty happy with the final result. So as you can see here, moved around a little bit, finding that zero, but the final result was I am left. One round was a little high, one round was right about low where it should be. So I'm guessing the third round probably would have been right about where I need it to be. And again, that's for a parallel zero with the expectation of most shots under night vision using a laser not being outside of average CQB distances. But again, if I want to refine this more, I can because this target holds up really well to uh, a pretty high volume of fire because it's made out of right in the rain. And that's pretty cool. So anyway, guys, this was just a quick overview of zeroing thermals and lasers on the universal zeroing target. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to buy these, you can check the link in the bio or the description below. And uh, yeah, go get yourself a couple, get out there, do some training. Thank you so much for watching. Train hard, live free. See you next time.